Russia has denied from the beginning that it has ever supplied any weapons over to the pro-Russian separatists in the east of Ukraine at any point during this conflict, and now is no exception. It denies categorically that the missile which shot that, that plane down had anything to do with Russia. Um, and it says for its part, the Russian Defense Ministry held a briefing yesterday here in Moscow when they, where they said, first of all, America, we don't believe your intelligence. It could all have been made up. These audio intercepts, they're cobbled together. The video you've released of a missile launcher going back into Russia, we don't believe it. And they have uh, pointed to evidence that they say they've collected from their own satellite images and radar systems, which shows two interesting things. First of all, a Ukrainian warplane, which they say was flying close to MH17 at the time of the accident. And secondly, that Ukrainian Buk missile launchers were moving around the conflict area on the day of the attack. So it really is claim, counterclaim, an information mm -hmm. war. And, and, and people if... in Russia think that uh -huh. Sorry, go on. Oh, that's all right. There's a little bit of a delay, so sometimes we end up stepping over each other. But what is the danger to Vladimir Putin if the rebels do continue to get blamed here? Well, the, the, the West is now considering, the EU is now considering further sanctions. Um, at the moment, sanctions haven't really hurt Russia's economy, but that might change. At the moment, but because of the annexation of Crimea, Mr. Putin is riding a groundswell of extremely, you know, he, he's extremely popular right now. Practically the whole country is behind him because they see him as this strong man standing up to the West. If he's proved to have been somehow culpable in the downing of a passenger jet um, and he's denied it all along, that isn't going to look good. He's not a man who uh, appreciates losing face in front of his own people, in front of the international community. Also, the fundamental question whether he really wants this conflict to end. End because what he's really scared of is NATO and the EU coming right up to Russia's borders.